Okay, well, here we have uh, the second of the 5000 series videos that I'm doing uh, for sailor equipment. This is the sailor control unit. The main transceiver is under the table, as they always are with the MFHF units. It's a great big transceiver box underneath with an automatic ATU, ATU outside an 8 meter high vertical antenna. Uh, which, like, you can just see this, it oozes quality. Um, as a ham radio, it would be a pain in the neck because you can only move it like slowly and things like that. They're set to a single sideband USB, but you can unlock them to lower sideband and things like that if you ever manage to get your hands on one as a ham radio operator. Perfectly legal to use, uh, you just unlock it. Um, and the code is uh, a standard code, which I won't give out on here, but uh, it's pretty easy to do it. Anyway, this one's the control head unit, which is the Charlie Uniform 5100 MF control unit. Uh, and it's got all the same sort of functions as the other 5000 series VHF that I showed you. You've got your mode, you press your mode, you change it from SSB to AM to DSC. You've got your menu, that gives you DSC call, DSC logs, station set up and info and test. I won't bother going through all the menu, menu functions, but like there's lots to, to do there. And you just press cancel to come out of that. Um, oop, right, cancel to come out of that. If you want to change the frequency, it's pretty simple. You just go there, T, I go there, and then I don't know, four, zero, two, zero. Don't forget to put an extra zero on the end, and that's your RX frequency. TX, same thing, four, zero two zero zero enter and then take the handset off and click and it tunes in a matter of seconds and there it is i mean it's so easy and it is lovely and uh, i'll put it onto a uh, amateur radio frequency just to show you what the receive on it's like oh, that's not an amateur radio frequency that's a bit low one four one zero 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 and okay we'll go to rx tune in the one kilohertz range up we go let's see what we find Anyway, you can see it's pretty good on the amateur radio frequencies, even though it lacks any filtering or anything like that. It's a pretty good receiver on it. It just doesn't have any filtering, so you'd have to put that in with an external box like an MFJ or a time step or something. But uh, anyway, hope you found that interesting. <laughs> 